So I'm talking about, um, I mean, I call it law and policy because it's just simpler, but thinking about um, the what can we do to implement EBM and blue economy within the existing legal framework. And um, I think as has been evident across the last few days, um, there's a tendency to describe the legal and policy framework in the marine space as being fragmented. And we've also heard that it's possible to do EBM and to enable, um, uh, to enhance the uptake of EBM and blue economy. It's difficult to know how to navigate all of this complexity and all of this fragmentation. So the challenge has undertaken a lot of research, or I think it's quite a considerable amount of research, focused on law, policy and governance about, across both phase one and phase two of, of the challenge. And that provides a really useful repository of information about what might be possible, but it's often in very long, no, no offence to Rob, wherever he is, um, long reports or long journal articles or, or other sorts of things. So um, what we're really sort of thinking about with this particular project is, you know, what can we take from the challenge research in a way, find those key learnings and key lessons to provide greater clarity for operationalising EBM and blue economy within existing frameworks. Um, we think this, the undertaking this activity is useful for both operational and strategic reasons. So um, in some of these more operational reasons involved that will provide marine managers, including kaitiaki, um, will have greater access to a range of legal and policy tools that could support them in their endeavours to implement or enhance EBM. Um, at the regional council level, there's um, the opportunity for us to provide guidance to support and enhance um, enhanced the uptake of EBM or EBM-like activities at, when it, at the content, consenting phase. For planacy, planning, planners, policy makers and decision makers would, could be supported by guidance to support the implementation of EBM. And for blue investors, uh, blue economy investors, um, there's the opportunity to, for us to try and clarify the opportunities for blue economy activities and identify pathways for overcoming various kinds of obstacles. So um, the aim really is to bundle up findings and insights from across the challenge, from across all of these, um, this, this vast data that we've collected over the last eight and a half years, and to put them together into usable and useful um, outputs that are tailored for different users. And, um, and in terms of thinking about the different sorts of projects or activities that this topic relates to, I mean, I think it relates to so many different topics or so many different parts of research that have been done across the challenge, particularly those that are relevant to decision making and management. And um, though some will have a stronger sort of connection or potential links than others. And as I said, guidance and uh, we're very mindful of trying to produce things that are helpful, actually helpful for the people that we're intending them to use, uh, for those that we intend, that we, we hope will use them. So again, the co-development aspect is important. and getting that bit right.